Well, hey there, it's Betsy, and welcome to a minute of wisdom, your dose of entrepreneurial wisdom to help you to get out of your head, get out of your way, and live the life that you love. Happy hump day, guys. Hope everybody's day has gotten off to an amazing start so far. I would love to know where you guys are. Please drop in the comments where you're coming in from. If you are new to my page, please type new so I can reach out and say hey. If you're catching the replay, please type replay so I can come back and say hey. Today I am going to talk to you guys about something that I find pretty interesting. And my question for you is, have you been maybe praying for something? For an extremely long time something that's in your life or your business and it just seems to be taking forever to the point that you're just kind of wondering um, if it's ever going to come to pass well today I am going to talk to you a little bit about discouragement why you don't want it and I'm going to use the example of the Israelites from the Bible and how it took them 40 years to take an 11-day trip you think you've been waiting a long time, huh? Um, so God had given the Israelites this dream, and it was this, this grand vision of the promised land, a land that was flowing with milk and honey, a land that, that they would no longer be slaves like they were in Egypt. But it was this, this land where they could be free. Um, the scholars actually say um, the journey, I think, was, was only like a week or two. Um, some say that it was like 11 days or something like that, but it actually took these guys 40 years to get there. Okay. 40 years, guys. That's a long, long time. So my scripture is Exodus 13, 17. Then it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war. And they returned to Egypt. So basically, it was God's choice not to take the short route. You know, a lot of times <laughs> when God wants to take you somewhere, He just may take you on that longer path instead of a short one. But the reason that He does it is sometimes He needs to prepare us, okay? You see, the Israelites had been slaves. For as long as they could remember, they they were slaves. They had not seen it, and they didn't understand the, the concept of war. Okay, they had just been doing what they were told to do every day as slaves. So God had to prepare them for all of the battles that they were going to face. Because let's face it, guys, every dream has its difficulties, and God uses all of these delays to get us ready for all the difficult times that we're going to face during the course of our journey. Because I think we all know that it's not a straight path. There's this, you know, bumpy, crazy road to get where we need to go. But the delays are not designed to take us out. By no means, actually. They're designed to strengthen our faith and to make us stronger. You see, God can also use delays to test our hearts towards Him. And what I mean by that is that sometimes He needs to see just exactly how we're going to respond under pressure. When things get really, really difficult. To see if we're going to trust him or to blame him and to quit and to give up. Sometimes more than anything, God needs to get Egypt out of us. Okay? More than he needs to get us out of Egypt. God could very easily have brought the Israelites out overnight. But then that slave mentality would have still been ingrained inside of them. You see, all of us have beliefs. Um, we have bad programming, all of this junk in our trunk that could actually hinder God's purpose for our lives. In fact, many people never actually fulfill the call of God on their life due to bad beliefs because they never, they never have the ability to overcome them. They never do the work. So many times God has to use delays to allow, to allow the time to change all those rotten beliefs that we have and all those thought patterns and to show us how His way is typically way more efficient. So if you're in one of those types of delays right now, the best thing to do is to just be patient and to learn whatever it is that you need to learn. Because here's the deal, guys. You're not getting out until you do. But what you got to realize here is 
God was leading the Israelites the entire time. And yes, that does mean that sometimes God will lead us through the wilderness. Because you have to go through the valley to get to the mountaintop. And remember, it's your attitude while you're in the wilderness. And your willingness to learn what you need to learn while you are there. That determines how long you will stay in that wilderness. The Israelites failed miserably. Okay? And only two, two out of the millions that set out made it to the promised land. Okay? That's pretty sad. So remember guys, when you're experiencing these delays in your life, make sure that you're allowing God to change what needs to be changed. To heal what needs to be healed so that you don't miss out on your promised land. So guys, I hope this was helpful information for you. And if it was, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with somebody that you think might benefit. Please know that I'm here for you. If you have mindset issues, if you have um, anything that you need prayer for, I can help you um, with all. I have a ton of resources that I have used that have helped me to overcome a whole lot of things. So I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. Feel free to shoot me a message and um, I'll help you in any way I can. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch. Hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Take care. God bless.